Hey everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial. And in this session, we will discuss about how to change the app launcher icon dynamically in our Flutter app. Say, for example, we have here a simple demo app. Here we have three different app icons which we can choose from and set that as the app launcher icon. Say, for example, by default, we have this red icon being selected, and you can also see that the app launcher icon is the icon which we have selected. Okay, now let me just select this dark icon, click this button to set that as the app launcher icon and if I minimize this app, you can see that the app launcher icon has been changed dynamically in the runtime. Likewise, you can also select the blue icon and do the same process and this time it will has changed from dark to the blue color. So the changes happens in real time and this is made possible with the help of the package which is Flutter dynamic icons. So this is all about what we will be discussing as a result of this video tutorial. Hope you got a better understanding. And with this idea, let's directly jump into the coding part and start implementing this in our Flutter app. First, we need to add the package which is Flutter Dynamic Icons and always check for the latest version. After adding this package, let's move on to the main.dat file. Here inside the lib, we have the main.dat file where we have made use of the generated routes and the initial route points to my home page where the my home page is nothing but a stateful widget class which renders these images which is the app icons in the form of list tile and finally we have the buttons okay and the logic to change the app launcher icon should be written inside the on press event of this button and the on press event is the method which is change app icon and the logic needs to be written down here okay so let's start with the logical part Let's first wrap with the try catch exceptions and we need to check for the support alternate icons which is going to return a boolean variable based upon the platform whether if the platform supports this dynamic icons or not. If it is so then it returns true and the if condition gets satisfied. After which we need to make use of the set alternate icons name method and pass in the icon name over here. Icon name is nothing but the image name. Else we will be just throwing an exception in the console. Okay. Well, this is all about the coding implementation which we need to do in order to change the app launcher icon. But even if I click this button now, the app launcher icon is no way going to be changed and it is throwing an exception. The reason is that we haven't configured the info.plist file which needs to be done mandatory in order to make changes in case of iOS platforms. Okay. For doing so, we need to open the project in Xcode. Just right click on the iOS folder and open the project in Xcode. In Xcode, just expand this runner and also expand this runner folder and here is where we need to add the app launcher icons right now we have these three images which is named as icon 1, icon 2 and icon 3 by doing so you need to make sure you click this either of the create group or create folder references make sure to do that and click the finish button after which we need to follow the documentation steps you can see here and this is the package which we have been using right now and if you scroll down they will be providing us with few documentation steps of implementing the package in case of iOS platforms. Alright. First is we need to add the images which you have already done. Next is we need to set up the info.plist where we need to add the icon files to the information property list. And that is inside the info.plist file. And here is what they have and here is what we have the information property list. Therefore, let's click this add icon and the file type should be icon files. Alright. Now after doing that, we need to create a dictionary of type CF bundle alternate icons. Okay, so let's create that inside this inside this icon files. We need to click this add, I add icon and give it the name as cf bundle alternate icons and change this type from string to dictionary after doing that inside the particular dictionary we need to create three other dictionaries in the name which is which corresponds to the image file name all right so therefore here inside this cf bundle alternate icons click this plus button and our icon file name is going to be icon1 and change this from string to dictionary likewise create another dictionary with the name icon2 and finally 
another dictionary with name icon3. Therefore, we have created three dictionaries of name icon1, icon2 and icon3 which is similar to the name of the image which we have here. And for each dictionary, two properties which is UI pre-rendered icons and CF bundle icon files should be configured. Therefore, let's create that. Inside each dictionary, we need to create two properties. Therefore, starting with icon 1 to create the first property which is UI pre-rendered icons and the next property is the CF bundle icon files. Once it is done, now let's change this CF bundle icon files from string to array and try adding the item which is item 0 of type string and the icon name should be given over here which is icon 3. Similarly, just follow the same procedure. change the cf bundle icons as array and try adding the first index first item and give it the name as icon2 likewise finally for this change this array add an item and give it as icon1 right with this we complete configuring the native code now let's stop running this app and we need to run the command which is flutter clean. Once it is done, run the command which is flutter pub get. Alright. Now let's now let's rerun the app once again. And this time, if you see here, if I click this set as app icon button, it will just notify us that on app launcher icon has been changed. And to verify, you can just minimize the app and you can see we have the red icon as the app launcher icon. Likewise, for the black one, it is changing. Finally, for the blue, yeah, so the app seems to be working in the way we have expected. So this is all about how you can change your app launcher icon dynamically in your Flutter app with help of the package which is Flutter Dynamic Icons. Hope you guys found this tutorial useful. If you do so, consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye.